What's up, everybody? Crash here. Welcome back to Crash Against the Spread, where we talk about sports from a betting perspective. Uh, it is Monday, May 20th. Uh, we don't have any games to talk about today. Uh, the matchups are set for the uh, Eastern and Western Conference Finals. Um, but let's talk about yesterday. Um, Pacers and Knicks. Uh, we got the over. Um, I was rooting for the Knicks, and I guess I, I guess I could say that if it wasn't obvious, uh, if you saw the other videos. But uh, I tried to make a play with the Knicks uh, each time, whether it was uh, you know the over or taking the points or or whatever. Uh, so I definitely could have made some more money on that series uh, by backing the Pacers, uh, but I was rooting for the Knicks, so I guess it was a little biased. I, I'm a fan of the uh, the Villanova. Uh, three more than the Knicks uh, organization as a whole, but I uh, kind of wanted to see them go through. Uh, but being as injured as they were, uh, they didn't uh, have a chance against the Celtics uh, going into that. So uh, the better team uh, did win and uh, go on to the next round. Um, as far as the Pacers Celtics go, um, overs overs in that series, uh, at least until they figure it out. Um, I, I see the Pacers coming out fast. I see the Celtics uh, walking down. And I do see the Pacers winning one or two of these. So I definitely don't think it'll be a sweep. Um, I don't know if uh, – <clears throat> I don't know what the line will be when they go back to Indiana. Uh, but I think for this first game, I'll probably be on the plus nine and a half and the uh, 221 uh, over. So uh, we'll look at that tomorrow, see where the line uh, goes, because I'm not going to bet it today. I want to see where the public is moving those. Timberwolves and Nuggets. Nuggets home record doesn't mean anything when you lose in the playoffs at home. So uh, they did lose less than 10 games all all season long at home. But when it mattered, uh, they couldn't deal with this Timberwolves team. They overcame a 20-point deficit to eliminate the champion. So I thought that Jokic was going to be, um, you know, on fire today after seeing how he uh, acted in the last game. But the shots just weren't falling uh, for anybody. So, uh, where they gave it a shot. Um, and the over, I still feel, was the right play um, if any of those shots were falling. Um, first half, second half, uh, that over would have hit. So, uh, But uh, Timberwolves won. Uh, congratulations to them. They did play a good game, uh, played a good series. And now they have to face the Mavericks. There's a lot of size on uh, the Timberwolves, and I think the Mavericks, with the additions of Gafford and uh, uh, Lively, can compete. Um, I think it's just going to come down to whose shots are falling, you know. So that that's the series where I'm a little less sure on uh, what's going to happen, and interested to see. But. Um, I think it's just going to depend on whose shots are falling in that series. And, and I'm, I'm interested to see how the first couple games go. Um, we know the Mavs have lost the first game of each of these series for two or three years now. Uh, so I will be on the Timberwolves in the first game. Uh, they're going to be at home. So they're probably going to be laying, I think, what is it, four points? Four and a half right now. So four and a half uh, totals at 206. Probably won't be trying to take too many overs in Timberwolves games until uh, further notice. So, uh, yeah, but uh, it's going to be a good uh, good weekend. Uh, I will be going out of town this weekend. I'll still be doing uh, shows and picks. So um, we'll be watching. We'll be seeing, uh, seeing what happens. So. Uh, I will be back tomorrow to break down the um, Celtics and the Pacers game and see where the line movement goes and what side will be on. So 
Uh, not going to lock in. Just uh, come back tomorrow and see where we're going with this uh, Celtics uh, Pacers game. Talk to you then.